New Cities of Sigmar models are out. And I've never been struck with a... with such an intense, burning feeling of meh. There are some I really like, and some that are... well, let's talk about it. Starting with Pontifex Zenestra, Matriarch of the Great Wheel. <laughs> I'm sorry, this model sucks. But let's look at some better takes on this palanquin idea. I think it'll give us a better concept of what went wrong. I think I might have honestly been more impressed by it if the new Slawn Star Master hadn't come out, like, six months ago and been way better. Or look at the Triumph of St. Catherine that the Adeptus Sororitas have. I mean, it, the, the, that casket is literally being held up by flying robot cherubs. Or hell, go back a couple of decades. Look at Volkmar on his war altar. Look at how much momentum that there is. Even these horses that are in heavy armor still convey forward momentum. Look how distinct Volkmar himself is on the actual model. I have no, I'm sorry, I have no idea where it's gonna, I'm gonna end up superimposing these, so I'm kind of gesturing all over the place. Everything about this model just conveys that forward momentum. And now let's swing back to our Grand Matriarch. We get two palanquin bearers standing rigid and completely emotionless. One of them has his face covered, although maybe there, maybe there are some swaps they have in the actual kit. I, we don't know yet. And the Matriarch herself is barely distinguishable, again, Look at Volkmar and how distinguishable he is on the actual pal- uh, Palanquin is war altar, but you get the idea, right? I'm so- I'm sorry, I know a lot of people like it, and quite frankly, I think the idea of Pontifex Zenestra, I hope I'm saying her name right, is really cool. The idea of a great-grandmother who was born and raised during the Age of Chaos, now spending her last few years securing a good future for her grandchildren and great-grandchildren, that's a really cool concept. Love that. Aces. The model's terrible. Sorry. Next up, we have the Ironweld Great Cannon, which is actually pretty okay, aside from a couple of things. I criticize the Free Guild Fusilier, Fusilier, whatever, uh, for being way too bulky, and this model still has that issue, but it's a little more forgivable given that it is a heavy artillery unit, and as a heavy artillery unit, it's got some cool detail. I love that you can actually see what the shells look like. I love that there's hammers lying around. There's a reloading crane. That's really cool, actually. I just wish you could take that shield off, or I hope you can. I guess we don't really know yet. This shield design, they're trying to make a thing in Cities of Sigmar. Is anyone else just not a fan of it? Because I'm not. And with it being on this heavy artillery unit, it, it just makes the base look really crowded. So I, I'm just not a fan, but for those of you who are waiting for me to be positive, now we get to move on to the things that are really, really good, which are also the things I've been asking for from Age of Sigmar for, uh, since they started these announcements for Cities of Sigmar, actually, which is a couple of good, small to medium-sized heroes and general models. And what do I think of the Free Guild Command Corps? Once again, they're a mixed bag, but leaning toward pretty good. Some are better than others. The Great Herald just looks like a more advanced steel helm, and I feel like I would like it if I had liked the steel helms. But the other heroes, like the Soul Shepherd, that one is actually very, very cool. Big fan of that. The War Surgeon looks really cool. The Arch Knight looks especially cool. I'm a big fan of these big berserkers in heavy armor. I think they're very, very awesome. I'm a big fan. Like that model. The Whisper Blade is okay. I get what they were going for with the mask and the hidden blade coming out of the cloak, but quite frankly, if you really wanted to make this model pop, just give him a big fat smile on his face. Honestly, that would make the hidden blade all the more unsettling. But we've got one more hero to talk about, the Cavalier Marshal. It's fine. I would have liked it more if the launch box didn't have five other knight models, all of which are better than this. But let's go ahead and conclude this video before I ramble on for too long. I still feel like every release we get for Cities of Sigmar is kind of just a lesser version of something that we already have from a different faction, which in Warhammer is somewhat true of the human factions, even before Total Warhammer, but you're not supposed to feel it this much. And honestly, it doesn't help that the normie human faction of Warhammer 40k is actually one of the most interesting human factions in, like, all of science fiction, so... I don't know, maybe it's unfair to compare- No, that's definitely fair to compare. Ah, that's gotta be. But, do you guys agree or disagree? I, I genuinely am curious to know, so leave me a comment. I would love to know your opinions. Um... I'll see you in the next one.